Welcome back to Fat Guy Builds, everybody. Thanks for coming. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to show you how to replace all four of your oxygen sensors on this IS-300 with the 2JZ. Get yourself some of this PB Blaster. Then go find all four sensors and spray the crap out of them. Let them sit for a few hours and then spray them again about a half hour before you start the job. Disconnect the battery. Go ahead and get yourself one of these 22 millimeter oxygen sensor wrenches. It looks like this. has the spot for the wire to go through. Then you slide it over and get it on to the oxygen sensor. Set the ratchet to loosen. You're going to grab it. Go over here over the wire. And then you're going to put it over the sensor. And then, uh, there we go. Break it loose. If you can't unscrew it the rest of the way with your hand, then reposition the socket and uh, keep going. Do the same process for the next one down. Now both of the upstream O2 sensors have their wires coming towards the front. And they go to these two connectors here. Here are the part numbers and where it goes. So up, cylinder 1, 2, 3, up, cylinder 4, 5, 6, down, cylinder 1, 2, 3, and down, 4, 5, 6. Press that latch in the center of the screen and then pull out the sensor. The upstream 456 O2 sensor is clipped into this wire loom with that little plastic um, hook. So disconnect that. The two upstreams are held together as well with a little plastic clip on the plug side. Make sure the new one and the old one pretty much match all the way, so we're good. Now, you take this, it comes with them. You're going to put some of this on the threads. That's uh, anti-seize, so when you have to do maintenance again, the sensors actually come off. So, put some of that on the threads. Now we're going to screw this in. After you've tightened the O2 sensor and you've ran the wires the way they were at factory, then go ahead and plug in the sensors. They're two different connectors, so you can't plug the wrong one in. You can, however, screw in the wrong one over there, so be sure to um, do these things one by one. To get your arms in to the rear O2 sensors, it's going to be easier to remove the intake pipe and um, in order to do that you're going to have to remove this cover as well because the plug is back there underneath this so we're going to remove this with 10 millimeter socket and then you can either unscrew this with a Phillips or a socket so this back top one is kind of a pain but you're going to put the socket on then you're going to go from the back side of the socket, so not the front, but the back side, which means you need to set your wrench to tighten, and then when you tighten it, it'll do lefty loosey on the back side. So that's the top three installed. Now to get to the last one, jack up the car, and we're going to have to go underneath. Put the air intake tube and the engine cover back on. The final one is right here and the wire goes to a grommet that goes inside the car. Where the wire goes in you have these 12 millimeter plastic bolt, uh, nuts. Remove those so you can get to the grommet where the O2 sensor goes. So now that the plastic is tilted out of the way, we can get to the grommet. 
to unplug it, we're gonna have to go inside the car. Now we're under the passenger side seat and we're gonna pull this plastic air duct out. Just like the other 302 sensors, push the clip and pull the connectors apart. Tie some bullshit wire or a string around the O2 sensor and now we're gonna pull it through the bottom. Now untie it from the old one and tie it around the new one. Now have one person pull the string or wire while you feed this in nice and smooth. Now the new one is in. We can put this plastic piece back. Make sure that this is torqued down. And uh, just put that back and we're done underneath the car. Plug the sensor back in and then put the plastic air duct back. Retighten the battery terminals and you're all set. The job is about, I don't know, about average difficulty. Not a big deal. Um, but just set yourself some time and some patience. The one in the back by the firewall is kind of irritating and fitting my fat ass in the back seat is kind of irritating. So thanks for watching. If I helped you save some cash, maybe think about donating a dollar or two on Patreon. Till next time, wrench on.